Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about the Wet n Wild Zodiac Collection. Now, I'm going to say this is only the Earth portion of the section because I did buy the Earth bundle, which came with this eyeshadow palette, these three lippies, and then this highlighting bar. So we're going to go through the products. I'm going to use them on my face. I'm going to give you first impressions. I'm going to tell you the prices, what I think about them, if they're worth it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I haven't ever done one of these types of videos before, but I'm super pumped. I recently got into astrology thanks to my friend Elise, and I think this is just so cool that they're making a collection for astrology. That's just like pretty awesome. So if you want to see my review, then just keep watching. Okay, so I want to do kind of a first impressions and try on today, which is why I don't have all of my makeup on, because I have the whole collection here. Now I'm just going to pull up prices for you, because I don't remember what they are. They're going to be different at Walmart than on the website, and I believe by cheaper prices. For my Earth Sign bundle, which came with the highlighter, the eyeshadow palette, and three lip glosses, it was $20.95. For the loose highlighter, which I didn't, I wasn't able to get my hands on, it was $6.99. And for the Mega Glow highlighting bars, it was also $6.99, and the Color Icon lip glosses were $2.99, and the eyeshadow palettes were $4.99. So anyway, I'm just going to first do my eyes, and this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It has my, my little earth sign here, and then this is the inside, which is just beautiful. And these shimmers really do call to me, like I guess it is very earth, earth sun inspired because these are my favorite colors to put on my eyes. They look super metallic, as you can see I have swatched these, and a few of them don't come off as metallic as they seem in the pan, while others really do, so I'm going to stick to a more the more metallic eyeshadows and try to build up outer corners with ones that are not so metallic. So I'm first going to go in with matte shadows, so I'm taking this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, and I'm just going to dip into the two transition shades here and here, and just give a little color to my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to go into a few different shades in this palette. I really think I want to do kind of like these three, which might sound a little weird, but we're going to try it. I'm first going to dip into this one, and as always, I'm using my fingers, and I'm just going to place this on the outer portion, outer corner of my eyes. These are really pigmented off the bat, so I'm just going to place this right here. And then using my big fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend this part out here. This blue does have a black base to it. So just keep that in mind, but I think it looks so pretty. Okay, then we're going to go in with this shade here in the middle, the same with just a clean finger. Now this was one of the shades that when I swatched it looked super duper metallic. We're just going to place this onto the middle of the lid here and kind of, kind of drag this in toward the inner portion. I'm just blending the seam out here with their fingers so it looks kind of pretty seamless. And just building up that pigment. So it looks like that to start. And on the rest of the third we're just going to take this beautiful yellow green shade here. This one is what really caught my eye when I first got, saw this palette leak. So it kind of looks like that. And then I'm just going to go back in with that bronzy shade. It did get a little whisked away during my application of the inner shade. So we're just going to apply that. That looks so pretty. That looks so pretty. I don't know why. <laughs> I, would, I was really nervous, but I think that just looks so amazing. They look like galactic and cosmic. So that is what the eyes look like. I think these shimmer shadows are performing really, really nicely. Like I said, there is one in here, this shade right here, this deep purple here, and it looks almost matte in the palette, almost like it's either a satin or a matte shadow, which would be good to deepen the outer corner. This is a fully metallic eyeshadow palette though, so it's not one that you can just one and done and go. You do need mattes to dip into another palette from. So the good news is Wet n Wild is so affordable that their other palettes are super cheap and they all work 
really well together. I'm actually really pretty obsessed with these eyes. So I'm just gonna finish off the bottom portion. I'm gonna dip back into these two transition shades here, the two matte shades. And to add some depth, because we have this nice deep blue on the outer portion, I am actually gonna dip into that purple shade and just run it on the outer edge of my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of dimension and so that I can use <laughs> more colors in the palette. Okay, and just before I put on mascara, I do notice that there, there is a bit of fallout from the metallic shadows, even though I used my finger. So I'm just gonna whisk, whisk those away. That's just something to note but they do look really nice and metallic. I don't know if you guys can tell, but honestly, in person, it looks absolutely stunning. I love this so much. Just be aware there is fallout, so if you're going to do your eyeshadow, do it first before the rest of your face. I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and we'll move on to the face and lip product. Okay, so I just threw on two coats of the Wander Unlashed Mascara. I've really been loving it at the moment. And this is what the eyes look like complete. I really, really like them. So let's move into the highlighter. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Bar in Earth. There are four of these just like there are four different eyeshadow palettes based on your elemental sign. I am Earth because I am a Taurus. So the inside of this highlighter is really cool because it has all the star signs right here <laughs> embedded in the highlighter. So that's amazing. I did hear that for fair skin this is like not a good highlighter but I swatched it yesterday and it looks really nice. It's just very golden. So let's just put this on the tops of my cheekbones and we will, we will see. Oh God. <laughs> that is so, so beautiful. Wow. Wow. I tried to put on a very light layer. I barely dipped my brush into this. This is actually my first time ever trying a Wet n Wild highlighter, so I'm just blown away right now. Look at how glowy I am. And you know what, I don't think this is too dark for my skin, it's just really intensely gold, so I would use a light hand if you don't like really gold highlighters. I'm just gonna put this on my cupid's bow, as well as down the bridge of my nose. And just a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes so this is crazy insane beautiful blinding I love the imprints of the star signs in the actual highlighter I think that is gorgeous and for, for $6.99 this is absolutely insane look at how blinding that is and I applied a very light hand so that's awesome I really do like this and I don't think it's too dark for my skin even though I'm very very fair I just think you have to use a light hand and you don't need a lot because it's so intense that it, as it is. Okay, and now here are the three lippies that came in the collection. There is Taurus, there is Capricorn, and Virgo. Now, I didn't know this when I ordered it, but my mom's actually a Capricorn. My best friend's a Virgo and I'm a Taurus, so it actually like, works out. Like, all of the people who have this, the Earth star signs are really close friends of mine and or my parent. So I'm just going to quickly swatch the shade Taurus. Okay, this is the shade Taurus. It is definitely a lot sheer, this formula, than I expected. It feels almost like the Pretty Vulgar Metallic Liquid Lips. This is definitely just full of glitter, so if you're not into metallic lips, this is definitely not the collection for you in terms of lippies. But this is really pretty. I didn't think it was going to be as sheer. I thought this was going to be one I actually didn't like because I'm not into super pink lips. And it has little golden glitters in it. You can feel the glitters when you rub your lips together, but it's not something that is terrible or distracting. It actually kind of feels a little calming, like therapeutic. Let me take this off and I will put on Virgo next. Okay, so this is Virgo Swatch. This is the coolest the coolest lip gloss I've ever seen. I feel like this is more gritty than Taurus, and this one has duochrome blue, purple, and brown into the tube. This is such a unique and beautiful color. 
on its own, amazing. This is a really, really pretty, really cool, unique color with a lip liner underneath it. I think it's just going to be the most interesting dynamic lip color ever. This is stunning. And my best friend's a uh, Virgo. Alright, let me go do Capricorn. Okay, and this is the shade Capricorn. Again, this is so cool. It is a bit gritty, just like I said with Virgo. I feel like Taurus was the one with the least amount of glitters. This has duochrome blue and gold and bronze glitters, even I think even a few pinks. It's just the most unique shade ever, and I think it looks beautiful. I think this would be a great lipstick topper because it looks brown, like a, as a lip gloss, the base pigment, but it just looks purpley, goldy, bluish when you turn your lips. It's just so cool. These collection lip glosses are just so cool. And I'm just going to swatch them on the back of my hand for all of you so you get the full effect. Okay, so we have, this is Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Just like, look at that. They're so iridescent. And definitely Taurus is the one that is the most like neutral out of the three and definitely the least duochrome and iridescent and glossy like that. Okay, so first I want to mention that they gave me a Taurus bag with my purchase to put all of my astrology things in. That's so exciting and so cute. Look at it. It says wet and wild on the back. Um, let's just go through the items as we used them. My thoughts on the eyeshadow palette are honestly more than I was expecting. I absolutely love all of these shades. I think they work so well together. I think this is such an attractive eyeshadow palette. It's definitely really cohesive. They are highly metallic, at least the ones I used, minus that purple one, which I said was a satin matte. I think they blended really nicely because I did blend that blue one into the crease, and they're super metallic, and I'm super blown away, so I definitely think this is worth $4.99. Next is the highlighting bar, which, I mean... What more, what more can I say with that? I love the detailing on the actual bar with the astrology signs in them. I think it's just so well formulated, so well packaged, so well thought out. This whole collection is. I think it's incredibly beautiful and it is very golden. So even though it's like, they say this is suited more toward a light skin tone, I feel like fair to light can use this, but just use a light hand. And last are the lips, lip glosses that we have here. Again, I have the shade Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, and I love these. These are so beautiful. For $2.99, for $2.99, this is the same quality as I was saying those uh, pretty vulgar um, metallic lipsticks. I love the color icon lip gloss formula to begin with. The fact that they just added glitter and different pigments and duochrome and iridescence, oh, it's just so pretty. It is so pretty. I have to say I love, I love it. And you know how I said it kind of felt gritty? I haven't even noticed it since I put my lips together. I don't think these will be long-lasting glosses. You will have to reapply them, but they are sheer enough that I don't think they're going to wear disgustingly. I think this collection is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to get my hands on the loose highlighter once it comes into Walmart. So yeah, guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like it. If you're going to pick anything up from the collection, leave it down below and tell me what you think about it because there's always different opinions. Um, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video.